Hey there, I'm not sure how this is going to go, just a thought I had. Um, a bit of a shootout, so to speak, um, about compact multi-tools. So before you are the compact multi-tools that I own, which I'm pretty sure represent most of the companies um, pretty well. So I'll go across, uh, Skeletal, uh, Juice CS4, uh, SOG Pocket Power Player, Gerber Crucial, Victorinox Explorer, Gerber MP400. These are all multi-tools you'd be happy to have in your pocket. So um, that sort of includes um, just bouncing around, so not in a sheath. Uh, so as you can see, there's some that are bigger than others, some with different ways of carrying. So all that should be taken into account with the scoring system that I've um, devised. So each category that I'll read out, uh, the best will get six points all the way down to the worst it gets one point. As you can see there's six multi-tools so each multi-tool will score something in each category. Uh, the categories are firstly the core, the core tools so uh, blade, pliers and drivers which is something that every multi-tool should have. Then um, out of six for non-core tool selection so that's like your other extraneous tools like scissors and files and things. Uh, the overall quality, the average cost uh, cheapest will get the most points, most expensive will get the least. Um, the general execution of the tool and the ergonomics, so how comfortable it is to carry and hold. So the winner will be the one with the most points and um, I've already done the scoring sort of thing so I know how it's going to go and it's not as I thought it would be. So uh, let's get started with the blade. So I won't grab it on too often uh, and too long. Um, you've got a few blades. The blade in the Gerber MP600 is a part serrated blade which is fairly average um, there you go it is locking but it's not easily accessible the uh, Victorinox Explorer has uh, your standard Victorinox blades so just a slip joint stainless steel Gerber Crucial has a one hand opening part serrated sheep's foot slash reverse tanzo blade. Sog pocket power plier has a um, chisel ground part serrated blade made of uh, 420HC. Leatherman Juice also has a 420HC slip joint blade. The newest model is a little bit shorter but that doesn't affect the overall score. Leatherman Juice, uh, sorry, Leatherman Skeletal has a 154cm one hand opening blade. Few surprises first. The Skeletal gets 6 points. Explorer, it's 5 points for classic blade shape, sharpness, ease of maintenance. Crucial gets 4 points for being one hand opening and locking. The serrations knock it down from beating the uh, Explorer. The juice gets three points. Uh, slip joint, it's a little bit wonky, and uh, the grind in mine was a bit strange. Uh, the MP400 gets the two points because it does lock. Uh, it is the part serrated, which again I'm not super keen on. The SOG gets the one point because it's a slip joint blade, it's chisel ground, and it's part serrated. Not, big, not the biggest fan. Pliers, uh, the best pliers. Um, MP400 has the one hand opening flick out sort of pliers. Pretty standard. This has no pliers, so it automatically gets the one point. Spoilers, sorry. Gerber Crucial. It's a fairly ergonomic set of um, rather thin pliers. Sog Power Pocket Power Plier has very smooth pliers with great uh, compound leverage, so probably the strongest uh, cutting wire here. Leatherman Juice, pretty standard. Pliers, I notice they do, um, it is quite easy to get them to do this though. So that's one thing I have noticed whilst working with them. And the skeletal, very similar to the juice, a little bit more robust and stout, quite ergonomic except for when you have the Torx wrench poking you in the palm. So by all means take it out or put the Phillips in. Best pliers. Six for the SOG. Great pliers there. Five for the skeletal. Four for the MP400, three for the juice, two for the crucial, and the one for 
the Explorer because there are no pliers. Not much you can do about that. Drivers, uh, what we're looking at here is having good 3D Phillips and a um, couple of flats that are good and strong, perhaps even able to do some prying. So, um, although they're all accessible from the inside, the MP600 has the best drivers because nice thick Phillips, proper three dimensional of a good size. Good flathead and a couple of standalone drivers as well, all sizes. So that gets the six points. The um, pocket power plier, second with five points. Again, good long skinny Phillips. The other ones are integrated onto tools. But your little eyeglass one there, which does actually fit in my glasses, which is cool. And you've got very cool, very nice 3D Phillips with a really fine tip on it finest of all these multi-tool Phillips drivers and um, I find finer is often better with the Phillips and you've got your standard flat which is a bit like the Victorinox which was a very close third with four points uh, the Victorinox Explorer has, and this was a main selling point for me a very stout uh, three-dimensional Phillips which is hard to find on a Victorinox the other drivers are just gained from the opener layer which are fine so you've got your flat and your um, your large flat and your medium flat on the can opener, a bit like the SOG. So from there the drivers go, the juice gets another three because although it has a 3D Phillips, um, the two dimensional flats are really hard to get out and smash my fingers and uh, the steel has bent on mine. And then you get two for the skeletal, not the biggest fan of the um, swapping out driver bits, um, it's a bit fidgety. Uh, it's very good design, an ingenious design, but in terms of actually drivers, not, not as good. The Crucial has the worst drivers because they are really, really small. They do line a lock, but you get one flat, which is okay, but then you get this Phillips, which looks alright there, but then it goes, oh, and disappears. Um, you can sort of stretch it out a little bit, I suppose, but yeah, never too fond of these drivers on the, on the Gerber Crucial. So that gets the one point. Uh, Non-core tool selection, so this is all the extraneous stuff. The Explorer wins this one, so that gets six points because, sorry about that, has a magnifying glass, has a good pair of scissors, has a little pen blade. So you get the second little knife. You get the cannon bottle openers. You get um, corkscrew, all hanging hook, toothpick and tweezers. So that's the best selection and they're all good quality Victorinox tools. So next was the juice because of sheer bulk of tools. Some of them I don't like as much, but it has definitely got the most tools all through it. So that's all your all your essentials are on the inside and on the outside is all your extraneous stuff. So it's got a pretty got a corkscrew and a bottle opener. Um, got a pretty good pair of scissors, it has an awl and a saw. So definitely a close second, just in terms of sheer variety. So that's your five points, the juice. You've got your MP400, which is, gets the four points. Um, again, it's just got scissors, which makes a lot of difference and pretty much edges it ahead of the following three. And then third is the pocket power player with um, three points. Uh, it's the only extra thing it's really got is a file, it doesn't have scissors, it's got a file and all which this has as well. And um, yeah, they're all slip joints, so not as, not as thrilled with them. Then you get the Skeletal and the Crucial, so I have two to Skeletal and one for the Crucial, just because you can swap out these drivers and put in Torx wrenches and things, where there's a Crucial you're really stuck with just this extra carabiner which is a bottle opener. On top of the tools I've already, already reviewed. So your uh, overall quality is next. Skeletal wins with six because it's uh, made of really high quality materials, carbon fiber, um, 154cm. Just move this down a little bit. 154cm um, steel, and it just feels very robust and solid. Uh, the second I gave to the pocket power plier, uh, it's really shiny and very strong feeling, feels very stout. You can really fang down on those pliers, do really well. So I give that five points. You've got the, or oh, next was the Victorinox Explorer with four, just typical Victorinox quality. Um, 
they're all slip joints but nothing there is bad news really it's just as you'd expect from Victorinox very good this is a pretty close category none of these tools are absolutely hopeless um, the Crucial was third um, just feels very stout very comfortable all the tools whilst they are small all lock and um, yeah just uh, w fairly well designed as well and um, knife blades uh, quite good quite stout it's got a good lock in it as well um, Next was the juice. There's some dinky tools on the juice, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, just those screwdrivers digging into my fingers. Um, the saw and the awl have to line up, and I've gone over this in the review for it before. So there's that, and then last is the MP400, which just has a bit of a chintziness factor to it. Uh, my ba battery's going out, I'll just switch over. Stand by. We are back, full powered. Sorry I didn't get to finish about the MP400. Just a few little things. Um, just weird stuff like the knife. Um, the knife blade's nail nick is facing the wrong way. So you have to kind of grab it out. And there it is. So it's a weird place for a nail nick seeing as you can never access it. Uh, a couple of the grinds are a bit weird on the uh, screwdrivers. These plasticky locks don't inspire a great deal of confidence. But it's otherwise it's not going to fall apart in your hands. But um, as I said, this is a pretty close category. So I had to get a bit nitpicky. Um, the general execution um, of the ideas and the products, um, I gave the Victorinox Explorer the 6, gave the MP400 the 5, because all those tools lock and that is cool. I think the sliding pliers is a cool idea. I like it for a small multi-tool. You're not going to be wanting to access any of the handle tools super fast in any sort of tactical situation and it's got great gadget factor and I uh, really enjoy playing with it. Uh, the juice is the fourth because um, it packs a lot of tools into a very small package. Uh, the pocket power plier is third. Uh, this category largely um, sort of sums up how many how much you get for your money, uh, really. So the pocket power plier you sort of get the um, next most amount of tools, and um, pliers are just really good. It's kind of a well finished and um, well executed tool. Uh, then I put the crucial with two points. Um, because I like the um, some very compact design of it, I like the one hand opening knife blade, the pliers feel good in hand, and I gave the uh, Skeletal the one because it is very sparse in terms of tool selection, and um, although the knife is well executed, it really is just a, pair, a knife and a pair of pliers, the uh, screwdriver is very much an ancillary tool, so it's probably the least multi-toolish of these multi-tools, so its execution is a compact multi-tool, probably yeah, not as... Um, not as thoughtful as, as this. However, when you get to the next category, ergonomics, the skeletal makes up. Uh, ergonomics is how comfortable it is to carry and handle. So, skeletal with its carabiner, pocket clip, and very nice grip when using it as, a, as either pliers or as knife. Get this one six points. Six there. And you've got the next, I put the crucial very comfortable again, very comfortable to use tool. So it's a, um, it's got the uh, carabiner retention system too, so it's um, a couple ways to carry it, that and the clip, and just, yeah, gripping the, gripping the pliers in general just feels really good, so good ergonomics on that. And again, the knife, just like the skeletal. The, uh, the knife blade, when you hold it, your fingers wrap around it, naturally your thumb lands on top, you feel like you've got a fair bit of cutting power, so I gave that the five points. The uh, Victorinox Explorer is just a classic, uh, easily handleable and manageable size. The smallest of the tools, so it's um, kind of very easy to carry, and uh, the feels not fine to hold it as a knife. The uh, juice got the next one because it was rounded edges, um, it's fine to bear down on the pliers. Uh, a couple of things about tool access kind of knocked it back a bit um, and the saw is a bit weird to use uh, ergonomically because it's a uh, sort of very loose slip joint and it can kind of fold. The MP400 gets the two points because um, or whilst the pliers are, are good to hold, uh, once you start using the tools they sort of come out on the wrong side so you're using your knife you sort of um, you miss a bit of space, this kind of blocks it off a bit so just not as um, not as great in motion. The uh, last was a pocket power plier because it really hurts to use. Um, it, although you can use it very hard and it feels very solid, uh, it kind of hurts a little bit on your hands to squeeze down on these things. And um, when you use the tools, 
again you get that sort of um, factor of this knocking it out but because none of them lock they can sort of fold on you a little bit so um, ergonomically that's uh, the last now what was I missing there the juice needed a 3 above it cool so the scores are all added up um, I'll take a quick break and then present my findings if you're really good at math you probably already know stand by alrighty so that's how it looks just make this more recognizable there we go that's the lay of it so by this logic all of those attributes uh, in line the best multi-tool is the Victorinox Explorer without having pliers it still manages to be the overall um, best package which is um, surprising to me I'd, perhaps it says more about my scoring system than about these multi-tools uh, the next is the Skeletal which um, took some big points in the knife quality and the overall quality um, did well in the pliers as well just the overall ergonomics too um, which probably are some of the more important aspects of a multi-tool so maybe it's a fair second the uh, third place is tied between the SOG and the Gerber which is about fair, they're probably quite even tools in the market actually fourth goes to the Juice CS4 which I am yeah probably about that enthused about just a few things about it just have always bothered me fifth is the Gerber Crucial um, I think the Gerber Crucial is by no means a bad tool and I kind of thought that it would work out a little better but when I do think about it compared to all these other ones all those rankings before are as honest as I could get so there you have it but there is one category you may remember I haven't gone into and that is average cost so the cheapest to the most expensive the cheapest getting six the most expensive getting one this may change things so plus six crucial is the cheapest at the moment on the market of all these tools MP400 gets five points Explorer four points may well hold its lead juice no nope. pocket power ply gets three three points juice gets two and Leatherman with its premium materials gets one point so it changes the scores to 29 25 27 24 not quite there 34 and 29 so it kind of clears up that little gap so we've got Explorer still the best deal then Leatherman Skeletal then your MP400 then your SOG then your Juice CS4 and then still unfortunately your Crucial so take from that little thing what you will I was more just bored and felt like making a video so there you have it but these are all good buys there is nothing terrible or inherently bad about any of these multi-tools except for the things that I've probably pointed out already like things like small drivers or weird knives and things like that but all of these are fine and um, they all carry very well um, and they all carry probably um, in a pocket I'd be happy with all of them the Gerber's probably getting a little bit on the big side the MP400 so if you have any comments or if you think I've got it all wrong please let me know in the comments that is the multi-tool compact size uh, face-off complete thanks very much for watching